I've been thinking about this since the beginning of the season, and now I really have to say something. Why in the name of Rao did Kara ever think that being a reporter was in any way her calling? Here are five reasons why Kara Danvers is the worst reporter ever. Number one, she doesn't know what a story is. You'd think that if something were one's calling, they'd have, oh, I don't know, instincts. Kara has none. Never mind that she's been working at CatCo for a couple of years. Never mind that her cousin is a reporter who happens to be dating an award-winning reporter. She has zero instincts about what Snapper might be looking for in a pitch. What's worse is that in the last episode, Snapper even explained the five W's of journalism to her. Who, what, when, where, and why. But Kara's still not getting it. Why did she want to do this again? Number two, she doesn't think well on her feet. I know that Snapper is a bit of a prickly boss, but Kara's freaking Supergirl. And yet, when he asks her the very legitimate question, do you have any sources? She fumbles. The thing is, even if she didn't have one walking in, she knows several people that she could have named or alluded to. She could have said, I'm working on an NCPD source who was on the scene and seen about getting Maggie on the record. She could have cited an anonymous DEO source, but she didn't think of any of that, which is completely ridiculous. That's like journalism 101. Number three, she doesn't use the sources she actually gets. Kara goes to talk to Lena Luther in this episode to get the new location of the Fight Club. This is actually an example of her developing a source. Good job, Kara! Except she doesn't actually use Lena in the story anywhere. Since Lena seems to like Kara, and she didn't actually ever attend the Fight Clubs, it's possible that Lena might have gone on the record about what she knew if asked. Or if not, Kara could have named her as an anonymous person on the guest list. But she did neither of those things. So the one time she did something right in this episode from a journalistic standpoint, she doesn't even use it in the story. Number four, she uses herself as a source, which basically means she wrote an essay, not an article. I know that Snapper doesn't know that she's Supergirl, so to him, Supergirl is someone separate from Kara and a valid source. But Kara knows better. If Snapper knew, he would immediately question her integrity. There's definitely a place for first-person reportage, but this job is not it. Kara lied to get out of doing any actual reporting, which is the laziest way around a supposed calling I've ever seen. Supergirl should be better than that. It's interesting that she's all about integrity in other aspects of her life, but when it comes to this career that she's chosen for herself, she's constantly looking for shortcuts. Which leads me to number five. She's done zero homework. Sure, Snapper's supposed to mentor her, but he shouldn't have to teach her how to do the job from scratch. Kara was already in a privileged position when Kat let her choose the job she wanted to do, which never ever happens. And she lands on Reporter. We're all supposed to believe that Kat knew all along that she'd go that route, and that this is somehow some huge calling. But what I feel like it is is that she didn't know what she wanted to do, so she latched on to what was familiar. Hey, her cousin does it, why shouldn't she? Well, she shouldn't, because she doesn't seem to care about it at all. She seems to have done zero preparation for her new job, and she seems to have gleaned nothing from her chats with Clark, or her relationship with award-winning photojournalist James Olsen, or her time working at CatCo. I'm just not buying Cara Danvers' reporter. Maybe it's time for her to find another line of work. What do you think? Let me know at the Mary Sue's Twitter, or in the comments below. See you next time!